Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be looking at how to convert a Microsoft Word document into a Microsoft Excel document. This actually is quite an interesting kind of piece. Um, it can be a little bit delicate at times depending on the content, but I'm going to show you how to take an invoice that maybe is in Word format and put it into Excel. So as I get into this, if you do find it useful, informative, maybe works for you, hit the like button, subscribe for uh, more. Uh, hints and tips and of course if you have any comments or anything specifically that you're looking for let me know down below. So here we have a, a basically an invoice, it's a blank invoice in this particular case um, that is in Microsoft Word right and we can't import this exactly as it is not without having a lot of issues in the Excel side. So we do have to kind of be thinking about how do we make this information clean and how do we remove the unnecessary parts because Excel of course is a database right? Excel is expecting things to be in nice neat columns and we're not looking at things like this where we have shipping addresses that are a little bit all over the place, uh, company names and invoices, numbers and things like that that are a little bit you know peculiar in the way that they are operating. So the first thing I'm thinking is actually I might remove some of these pieces off of here and um, just by hitting the delete key and then basically essentially just removing them from existence because I just don't think they're really going to help us out massively. Okay, and what we do want is these pieces of information here, right? We don't need uh, all of this because again, we can use Excel for a lot of that. But what we do want, of course, is this bit here. So I'm gonna actually just put some dummy numbers in here uh, just so that we can see, you know, what that might look like. Okay, and a lot of that can be calculated out later, um, but it gives you a bit of an idea, right? So that's what we're gonna do. Now, the salesperson, the PO number, this could also be very important information but it doesn't tie in neatly with what we see below. So if we take a look at this and we think about it, we are going to have a bit of an issue with trying to get this data table here and this data table in below. But we're going to leave both of those in for now. Um, it'll allow us to see a little bit of kind of growth in there, I think. Actually, yeah, we'll just actually remove that. I don't think we really need it. Um, let's see if I can actually just delete that table off. So we end up with this one table here. This is what we're going to import into um, our Excel document then, right? Should be straightforward. It's basically quantity, description, unit price, and totals, right? And we've cleaned out a lot of the stuff that's not going to be in a database kind of esque kind of feel. So we want to take this and we want to go ahead and put it into uh, Excel. Well, the easiest way to do it would, of course, be to copy everything, but everyone should know to copy and paste would and how that would work. If I go ahead and just do that, highlighting all of this, hitting Control C to copy it. And if I come back and bring up a blank uh, Excel document here, I can go ahead and right click and then basically just drop these in you know keeping source formatting or alternatively matching the format right this works really well when you have of course got a um, excel doc or uh, a word document that basically is structured out like a table but if it's not structured out like a table well and you maybe have got some text in there so let's go ahead and just bring back all the text like this then that's going to obviously present itself a bit of a problem because excel is not looking for text it's looking for tables right so the other way of doing this then is going to be to actually save all of this document as a text file so if we go file we go down to save as um, you can see here I'm going to go to browse and then I'm going to basically choose plain text is what I want to save it as. I've actually already saved it here already and so I'm just going to go ahead and replace it. You can see here that this is going to give you a bit of a, an idea of what that's going to look like, right? It's not necessarily the best but it is what it is. I'm going to leave all of this as default um, and then we're going to click um, OK. Okay, so now we have a um, Word document that has been saved as a plain text file. So now we can come back to our Excel document. We'll just open up a separate tab down here and we're going to go over to the data area of our uh, Excel workbook. From here, we're going to go and get data from text slash CSV. We're going to go for that. We're going to come down to this one and we're going to go ahead and import it. Okay, so this then gives us this, right, which is basically a company invoice dot, uh, a one dot text file. It's comma separated. It's basically a standard kind of document and it kind of gives you an idea as to kind of what that's going to look like. But as you can see, it's going to import the information, but it's not going to be well structured out. We'll go ahead and load it in so you guys can see what that looks like. It's going to be a Power Query connection and I'll just close that tab down over there. So over here, you can now see that we have all this information, including like quantities, descriptions, but they're not actually in columns. They're in rows rather than anything else and that's because of all that text that was above it kind of 
skews everything off. You can also see here as well, everything is in a row rather than in a column, but this can be handled and can be dealt with uh, by copying and pasting it out. But again, if you're gonna be doing that, you might as well copy and paste the tables as you see them. So kind of a long story short, guys, you can of course save a Word document as a text file and import it. The question is, is the file structured well enough to actually be usable in Microsoft Excel? Or are you better off just copying and pasting? Now, if you did find this useful and informative, hit that like button for me, hit the subscribe button down below for more hints and tips, and I'll catch you all in the next one.